All right. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install Blender mo uh, Blender tools into Blender. How to extract and convert a SCS file into a PIX file. I think that's how you say it. So first, we're going to go over here, and these three these two links will be in the description. So we're going to go to Blender tools. Download the right Blender version you have for your Blender, which is mine is 279, 2.79. So I'm going to download it. And I'm going to go over here, GitHub. This will be in the description. And then you go to clone or download. Download zip. So it should download. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here to this is the truck that I want to do. So we're going to go down, download, download, download should download okay so first off if I can there we go blender tools the uh, version and the truck you want to do I'm gonna put them in my folder open the folder the blender tools don't do nothing with yet I'll show you what to do with them that uh, conversion converter picks extract extract It'll extract itself. Once it's done, don't have to do anything else. Peterbilt one, extract. And then you go up to the Pete, wh whatever truck you're doing. Go to the truck file. These three, don't worry about, especially that that's talk, text document, but whatever. This one, go right click. Go to 7-zip, add uh, to zip, oh no, sorry, extract files, press OK, they'll be extracting, go to the folder, or oh, well, go to Blender, and to know your Blender version, go to, uh, Well then, I'm not sure. Well, you should know your Blender version. And then you go down here and install from add on from file. Mine is located on desktop, SCS files, Blender tools, install add on. Go up to here and push SCS. Make sure that's checked. Save user settings. And then you should have it. Yep, SCS format. Okay, so exit that again. Go over to here. Computer built. Do this. Vehicle. Sorry, just copy. Works. Bin. Win X. And paste this in here. Now, all you will do for this is drag this over top of that. Blah blah blah, run anyway, and it will do this 51%. Let's do its thing. And then you're gonna have two folders now this one, which is the exp. Click on it. Now, this is all your uh, new PIX files. So, let's see. 252. Try to find the actual truck. Share models. No. Well, I might have picked a uh, wrong. Okay, textures, chassis, uh, truck right here. See so where it says PIM. So then you go over to your blender. Uh, import SCS PIM desktop SCS convert convert bin 86 this vehicle truck 52 and then you'll see truck PIM and then you SCS import now this will take a little bit because I'm recording and everything so it's going to oh shit I forgot something 
cancel all that. Go to Blender. That's my fault. Sorry. So just act like you're opening Blender for the first time. Import SES desktop. Go to your file driver. Oh, nope, truck. And then you're going to set current base. Gotta make sure you do that. So SDS import now. Hopefully this will make a sense to use because this is the first video I've done. You can probably tell. <laughs> Like I said, this is going to be a little bit, so skip through. Okay, so now it's up. I just close all this. And now, obviously, you're going to have some odds for the uh, SES files and that so a lot of this can be deleted but like this can be deleted that can be deleted these are all shadows and then all these little things here can be deleted uh, Come over here, open the truck. So a lot of these. We deleted, and then we just go through and eventually you're you will this is not a good truck because they have all the options on the one thing. Normally they have two options but yeah you get the picture and then like if you wanna you DMI something let's say you wanna you DMI the fifth plate right you want you DMI those right Put it in uh, to do the thing. I'm going to show you how to eat you, you UDMI also. So click on your thing, go up to here, right click whenever the arrows, right click, split area. Then you're going to see at the picture here, you go down to here, go up to. Oh, right. No. What the heck? Hold on. Hide. Alright, let me pull up the. Uh, let's see. One good piece. No. Uh, under? No. Dang it. There we go. What is UDMI this? So, uh, UV image editor. Come see this. Open this. Material selector. And then you're going to go over to here and tab and Z. Click this little box here, select all, then you're going to press U, Smart UV Project, click it, press OK, it's going to load up, and if you want to call a selectable, select one of these. But, if you have like a cabin, uh, I'll explain that later, but select that. It will move here, and these are presets, reflectors, glass, granite, I mean all that stuff. So, after that, 
press tab again, and Z over in this box. Okay, yeah. Go over to here. Go over to this one. One new material. So anything that's here will be here. And just push X here. New material. Go over to here, which is a texture. Press new. If anything's there, like I said, click on it and click X. And then you just push texture. Then you go over to here. Make sure you have it selected in this form. Export. Giants I3D. I'm just going to stick it on the desktop, but wherever you're going to make your mod, do that. Export I3D. This will take a second. We'll be back. All right, so once it's done, minimize this, and then you have your I3D or whatever you named it. So I'm going to open it up. Well, first, you're going to have to have textures or, yeah. So I'm going to go to my HDD storage I'm gonna to go to my modern stuff this is a mess new shaders I'm gonna copy and paste them in here now that I just got from one of the expendables trucks so so I'm gonna open it Once you are here, I accidentally did something stupid. No wonder it took so long. So, shit. Okay. That was my last mistake. So, can't exit that. Go back to Blender. Make sure you check that. Val, export, I3D. Come over here and just push export selected. If you don't do that, then you're going to get in trouble like I just did. So export. It only should take a second now. So see. So go up to minimize. And we go over here. Untitled. Open it up. Now. Visibility. Good indication if it worked is if it's chromed, UDMI worked. So Albino map, go there, go there, go to desktop, uh, new folder, new shaders, Albino. Oh, wait, no, normal map. Desktop, new folder, normal, okay, exit, uh, shader source, now this sometimes work, yeah, see this one for some reason it doesn't work, so I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go to my FS19 folder, download folder, and Steam, I got Steam, normally it'll be in your C drive, but mine is in my D drive, Steam, Steam, common, Fallout or Farmer Simulator data, and then all I do is shaders, and then you push V for vehicle shader. Okay, so I think it's this one. Bear with me, I haven't done this for a little bit. Dark Gen 2. Nope, it's not this one. Is it Bloss? I think it's the Bloss. Yeah. So then the gloss, you click that, that, and then you can pick anywhere from Dirt Normal, Gen 1 Dirt, or Gen Wear Dirt 2, and click that and open. Alright, so hopefully, and then you just go over to here, call a mask, yellow. Now see, when you actually do this, you would 
if you want it want to the airbags different color axles the drive shaft the shocks I mean stuff like that you can do different colors and stuff but then to change the color or you can do the date the code and the thing to change the color to change the color you go down to here and what you want white or black or oops, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 0 0.1 green and then to while you're working on it you can get rid of the dirt and the wear by RDT first one and the second one first one is the wear second one put a zero now it's the Dirt. We put one. Oops. It's the wear. See? Now, another different thing is if you go to call a mat and you go over to here where it says one, if you put zero, it's metal. If you put two, it's chrome. Three, da da da, and I mean, so forth. So, just a little quick tutorial if you want a better one let me know and I can do DMI and show you how to do it from inside of a mod and out back end stuff like that and then of course you just go up and save and exit and da 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 so if you need more detailed one let me know because I suck at explaining and hopefully this makes sense